Hi, it's Ariana Fletcher from GiggleGourmet.com. Today I'm going to cook a butternut pumpkin squash soup with peanut butter and chili. It's really great on a cozy night in when it's cold outside. This is great for celiacs, vegetarian, vegans, and if you have any dairy um, intolerances, there's no dairy in it. But definitely if you have nut allergies, this soup is not for you. So I'm first going to start with some coconut oil, about one tablespoon. Just add it to the pan or the pot. Let that melt down. And while that's melting, I'm going to get the onions in. And we really want the onions to cook well because this is the soup base. So wait till they're translucent. Also, it's, there's a bit of um, refreshingness in this soup because the peanut butter can be quite rich. So you add um, about an inch by inch cut of ginger cubed in there. A pinch of salt. I should do two since it's quite creamy. You want to make sure those flavors stick out. Oh, the aromas in here. Here's two red um, bullseye chili, but if your preference is for not too hot, you can either de-seed them or use a green one for some. If you can't handle the heat or you have any family members um, who don't like spice. Now we're going to let this cook down until it's translucent. As you can see, the onions are translucent, so now is the perfect time to add the butternut pumpkin or squash. Now this is just half of one which has been pre-cooked and cubed, but feel free not to pre-cook it and you can add it raw and then just it takes the soup a bit longer to cook. careful if you might inhale some of the chili. And don't worry about um, mushing this up because it's all going to be blended at the end. And then to get the broth going, let's add three cups of water. Now if you prefer to use chicken stock or beef stock, that's great. But here I have just two vegetable bouillon cubes. Add them to the broth. And we want this to come to a boil. And then we'll turn it down, and then we're almost done. So it's come to a boil, and now it's time to blend. If you have a handy hand mixer, feel free to um, blend it this way, or you can transfer it to a blender. Be careful for this not to splash everywhere. Here we go on low. my preference, but you can also use um, smooth. It's really up to you, your preference. Give that a mix and stir in. And then add the lime juice, which adds a bit of a tang, more of an Asian flair to this. and make sure the peanut butter is well. <laughs> so that was three quarters cup of the peanut butter and one lime juice. And now we're ready to serve. Now this is quite a rich soup. 
so it's not, um, you could have some warm, fresh bread if you want, but really it's a hearty meal on its own. And then top it with some fresh coriander or cilantro and green onion. And there you have it, a warm butternut squash pumpkin soup with peanut butter and chili. Let's have a taste. Mmm. Well, you can really taste the ginger and the lime. I'm Ariana Fletcher. Thanks for visiting. Make sure to check out gigglegourmet.com for this recipe and other delectable, cozy treats. Thanks. <laughs>